Hey, is someone in here? I can see you, come out, you're right there. How, how did you get back in here? What'd I tell you? No more stray animals in my garage. Get out of here. Are you gonna make a mess on my floor? No, go away. What is that? Did you, did you just get a power tool on my floor? Here we have DeWalt's brand new, hot off the assembly line, five in one, 12 volt tool. Five in one, I'm usually not a fan of tools like this. I think you should really just get the one tool that does the job right and not try and have one size fits all solution. Until I started thinking that I actually have a couple multi-tools, we'll call them, that I use all the time. The first one is, well, my weed eater. It's the same kind of philosophy as DeWalt's new five-in-one tool. You have one motor that runs a lot of different attachments. I had the Echo version before this. This is the Still or the Steel, and it's flawless. And then the other one, well, I think that's something that we've all had at some point. Swiss Army Knife. And yes, this is the actual pocket knife that I have had since I was a tiny little Cub Scout. So it has seen um, lots of action. And this is the original one size fits all, do it all. You can cut things and you can undo screwdrivers and you can open bottles. So you can open your drinks and then stab stuff and then open more drinks and stab more stuff. I'm gonna put this back safely. No, we're not. We're gonna use this to open our new tool. Oh, it's still sharp. That's weird because I'm pretty sure the last thing this cut was my thumb when I was like 14. This was $189 down at, I think Lowe's is where I found this. There weren't any special deals, any promotions because it's a new tool. Right off the bat, we get a carrying bag, which sucks. Oh goody, we get another charger. This will immediately go into the drawer of misfit chargers. What do I do with all my chargers? Where's my random box of battery chargers? This... Hold on. No, that's a tool. That's a tool. Wait, wait. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. You go live in there. You live in there with your friends. Here is our power head, the one tool that drives all the accessories, and it's pretty little. And then in here, we actually have a nice organizer, a nice tray that stores all of our different little batteries, or that actually stores all of our different little attachments. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. It's a hefty little tool. The bag, I'm surprised they actually took the time to organize. And for 180 bucks, I got the tool, the attachments, and a charger. Thank God, I really needed that extra charger. Let's head to the workbench and I'm going to try and explain what the five different tools are that come in this kit. First tool is an impact driver, which I will represent with an impact driver. Our second tool is, this looks like a right angle drill, which we will represent with a Right angle drill. Third tool is this. This looks like just a regular old drill. We'll represent that with, well, a regular old drill. 
And the last attachment we have in here is this low profile drill, which I was actually really excited about this one. This is really one of the whole reasons I wanted to buy this tool. I've been in a lot of situations where I don't have space and I can't get a drill into a tight little corner. I actually scraped up my new floors when I was putting them in because I had to drill a hole right in the bottom of the baseboard and just enough extensions couldn't make it happen. So this guy, we're gonna represent with another drill and ugh, a nice long extension. So these are all of the tools that our five in one is supposed to replace. Um, but you know what? I'm not an accountant or anything, but one, two, three, four, it said, it said five and one. It, it, five and one, four. Four does not equal five, DeWalt. Are you, are you trying to screw us, DeWalt? Are you trying to lie to us, DeWalt? Do you think we're idiots? Do you think four equals five? Four and five are not the same thing. Upon careful thought and reflection and reading the instructions, it would appear that DeWalt considers the drill as a drill and a driver. Um, so this is number four and five. I still think that is a bit of cheating. If you say it's five and one, you better give me five attachments. So you might be thinking, Alan, you already have all these tools. Why did you buy the five and one? And I did it for two reasons. One is this low profile adapter. Milwaukee actually makes a version of this tool. They came out with it years ago. I almost considered buying it just for this low profile adapter. And then when I saw that DeWalt had one, I just, it was no brainer, had to do it. The other reason is because somehow my friends have found out that I'm like a little bit handy. So I always get asked to help them like fix something at their houses or more often than not, hang a TV on a wall. And when I do that, usually I grab this guy, I grab this guy, they each have a battery. I grab a spare battery just in case, throw it in a bag and just haul it all around with me. When in theory, now I can just bring this to do the whole job. Not only that, if I'm like running down to the marina to fix my falling apart old sailboat, um, yeah, I can just grab this rather than packing up a ton of tools. So I'm really hoping this lives up to, you know, what DeWalt claims it'll do. Um, even though they lied to me that it's not a five in one. It's just not. That does not count as two. That adapter does not count as two. If you're lying to me, DeWalt. Definitely one flaw in this idea that this is gonna, you know, be helpful for me is that all of my tools are 20 volt. I do have a couple of 12 volt tools. I do have a couple of 12 volt batteries, but it really does not concern me too much that it's a different battery system because DeWalt did something smart that as I know of, no other tool maker has done. And that is this. DeWalt may have two different battery systems, our 12 volt and our 20 volt battery, but they actually only have one charger. I don't have to set up extra chargers. My 20 volt charger will take my 12 volt guy and it'll take my 20 volt batteries. It actually even does my 60 volt batteries. So that's smart. I don't have to have a whole bunch of chargers clogging up the place. So that was definitely a big selling point for me when I went in on a 12 volt tool that, yeah, it's a different battery, but is it, is it really? But that is enough battery talk. Let's see how this thing actually holds up and compares against its different big brothers. And for that, we must devise a series of tests. First up, I think is going to be the impact driver because I probably use the impact driver more than anything else. I haven't read any instructions, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. This, uh, somehow snaps onto here. Yeah, there's a little ring that you pull. It actually has metal gears on both sides of the drill and the adapter. You line up some teeth, pull that ring, and we're in business. Size-wise, this five-in-one is actually a little bit longer than my 20-volt tool 
just because it has to make space for this adapter. So yeah, not too impressed right off the bat. So here's the challenge for our little 12 volt all-in-one impact driver. I am wondering if it can undo a bolt tightened up by this guy. And if it can, we're going to move on up to the next bigger impact driver. And if it can do that, we're gonna move up to the big boy. I think, yeah, I think maybe it'll untighten something put on by this. I don't think it'll work on this. Definitely don't think it'll work on this. But once that test is done, we'll move on to our drilling test, our right angle test, and most importantly, our low profile test. Let's find a good candidate. Nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts. I need to find some nuts and bolts. This will do the trick. So we're going to do a really simple torque test. We're gonna tighten this up with my 20 volt impact driver, see if the five in one little 12 volt guy can undo it. If it does, I'm gonna be very impressed. There is a speed selector, so I guess I don't wanna burn out the clutch. And it's on screw, I don't know, we'll see. Uh-oh. I think this adapter really truly isn't a impact wrench. There's not an anvil in there like an impact wrench would use. It's just using the clutch on the drill. So probably not the beefiest, most reliable impact wrench. In fact, I wouldn't even call it an impact wrench. I would call it just a drill with a, um, I don't know, drill bit adapter, a drill without the little screwy tightney thing on it. I was kind of let down. All right, so uh, we've gone from five and one to four and one to maybe three and one because I'm not gonna call this little adapter an impact wrench. It does no, it does no impact. Yeah, it loosened up a screw, but it just used the clutch on the drill. So that's not, it's not an impact wrench. Next up, it is time to screw around. I present to you the great 2022 screw off. We will use the same drill bit to drill two holes with each drill and time it. The rules are simple, no starting early, no cheating. First one to finish wins. Ooh. On your mark, get set, pull up your timer app. Timer, alarm, stopwatch, and go. Five and a half seconds for the big drill. All right, little drill, five and one. You let me down as an impact driver, but maybe, just maybe, you're going to redeem yourself here. Ooh, and my drill bit just barely fits in here. I think this is a 3.8 drill bit, so anything bigger than 3.8, we're screwed. We are at number two. We're going to put the clutch into drill mode. On your mark, get set, drill. We're stuck. This, I can't make this up. We're gonna leave the drill bit there and let's move on to the next test. I actually had to free the drill bit adapter because, because this is getting worse. It's not getting better. This is a right angle drill. This is what the world thinks is a right angle drill. It lets you get into little nooks and crannies and drill things where really you have no right being. This, what they're calling a right angle drill, is not a right angle drill. It's this weird elephant tusk looking adapter that you then have to put another adapter on. I don't, 
Does this even line up? No, this doesn't even line up. You have to use this other impact adapter. Does that even line up? What kind of crap is this, DeWalt? Uh, this is a right angle drill. This is an abomination. And because you have to use this little bit adapter, you can't put a drill bit in it. So it's not even a right angle drill, it's a right angle screwdriver. This, you can put a screw bit in, you can put a star bit in, you can put whatever you want in it. You can put a drill bit in it and drill a hole. This, you can just tighten screws with at weird, awkward angles. We're not even testing this one, this is stupid! Like a happy elephant? Doesn't even want to go on anymore. A sad elephant. No. This, look, this is so handy. This is so handy. This is stupid. And now on to our last test, the one I'm actually excited about. The whole reason I might not throw this thing in the trash. Our low profile adapter. Here we have our low profile screw adapter testing station. Um, and please note, I am so far so disappointed in this tool. I assembled it with my regular old drill. And this is how this thing is supposed to work and how I think it might actually redeem itself. What am I supposed to do if I need to put a screw right there? Typically, this thing won't fit and I can't drive my screw in straight. And if you're me, you wind up scratching all sorts of stuff up, you drill screws in at wrong angles and you usually just break things. And that's where this is supposed to come in. Put my little bit in here. And now in theory, oh my God, it actually fits. That actually worked perfectly. It gave me the clearance I needed to drive a nice straight screw into a really tight corner. Again, the common downside I'm seeing though is it only takes these little screw bits. You can't put a drill bit in this adapter. So great for screwing something in, but what if you need a pilot hole or what if you just need to drill a hole? That's not, like it works for screws, but that's only half the job. Let's go uh, recap my unimaginable disappointment. The DeWalt 12 volt, five in one drill driver kit. You know, let's start with the positives. I lost, I lost the positives. Where did I put the positives? Big positive is the bag. This is the first time in a very long time I have actually seen DeWalt take the time to put an organizer in the bag to keep all the parts and the charger and the batteries and the adapters where they belong. That's really cool. I hope they start doing this with all of their tools rather than just giving you what's usually an empty bag. Also bonus, the low profile adapter, one of the whole reasons I wanted this, it actually works, but only for screws. You cannot drill a hole with it. And on to the negatives. First negative, they lied to me. This really only does four things. This is not a five in one tool. Secondly, right angle adapter is just trash. Like, it doesn't work. I don't have words to explain how bad of a design the right angle adapter is. When it's hooked up and once you put these other adapters on it, it's just so gangly and unwieldy and you can't get leverage on anything and it's just, it's just garbage. And again, you can only screw with it. You can't drill a hole at a right angle. It only does half the job. The drill adapter, um, it couldn't drill through a 2x4, it could not drill a 3 8 hole through a 2x4, which that's, you know, I understand it's 12 volt, but all their tools before they were lithium ion were pretty much 12 or 18 volt and they could handle it. This is a bit of a disappointment, but not as big as the biggest disappointment. The impact driver is not really an impact driver. All it is is an adapter for screw bits. It is a, a chuckless chuck. It's just, it's not an impact driver. I don't, um, I was not expecting to say this, but 
This tool sucks. It is not awesome. And that's really hard for me to say because as you can tell by the garage, I am a huge DeWalt fan. I am loyal to the yellow tool. And I mean, I didn't have high hopes for this. I just knew it was gonna be awesome. I knew it was gonna let me sink some screws kind of in tight angles. I knew it was gonna solve my problem of always having to carry a drill and an impact drive and extra batteries around. I thought, hey, one tool I can take down to the marina with me when I need to work on the boat. But um, no, it's not going to solve any of those problems. Um, it's just going to make me mad. I thought I would be able to recommend it as like, hey, if you're a hobbyist or if you just need to like buy a drill to do some occasional things, like this is the way to go because it can do so much. But no, it sucks. Don't buy that. Like I said early in the video, Milwaukee makes a version of this. In fact, Milwaukee came out with it first. I think DeWalt just copied or tried to copy the same functionality. So if you have the Milwaukee one, can you leave a comment or shoot us an email and just let me know how it works? Because I'm really curious if it is as much of a piece of garbage as this one is. I don't want to leave this off on a bad note, uh, but I think that unicorn screwed me. Like, yeah, he really did just take a dump on my garage floor. Till next time.